It's the midway point of the season, round seven, Rally Estonia, and it is one of the fastest on the WRC calendar. The rally got underway on Thursday afternoon with a short super special, and it was Craig Breen who held an overnight lead of just a tenth of a second from Cali Rovan Pera. Eight stages to run today then, and sadly for Breen, his run at the top was short-lived, going off the road on stage four, and his day was done. Instead, it was Toyota's Elvin Evans taking a clean sweep of stage victories over the morning loop to build a lead of over 12 seconds to Oit Tanak. Pretty good overall, I think, you know, the car's working. I have uh, confidence behind the wheel, so, so that's good. Um, yeah, just need to, to keep it up this afternoon. It could look very different, so uh, there's nothing, nothing you can take for granted. Tanak had a mixed morning. Hot out of the blocks in the first two stages, beaten only by Evans, but he went the wrong way with setup before stage four and dropped off the pace. We did changes, we, we basically came back, but uh, I'm trying very hard, but you know, it's more like fighting, not uh, driving faster. Opening the road, championship leader Kali Rovampera doing well to lie third overall at the end of the morning loop. I feel good. Um, nothing special really. I think we did. Uh, what be good being the first car on the road. It was pretty slippy, but uh, but yeah, we are here. Let's see now how tricky the second pass will be. Further back, Thierry Neuville in fourth, struggling with oversteer in his Hyundai, while Esa Pekalapi in fifth had brake problems. Adrian Formo rounding out the top six and leading the M Sport Ford Charge. It was a clean stage for us. I'm happy with the time uh, and also with the driving. I was a little bit more careful because there was some walks and peel and, and the grip was quite changing all the time and uh, quite slippery in some sections, so no, but, yeah. but I'm really happy with the loop and, uh, and how it goes. Drama in service though, Oit Tanak hit with a 10 second penalty for not using full electric mode on part of the road section. He dropped to third overall. Evans lead then, 18.3 seconds ahead of Rovan Pera with Tanak 3.8 further back. Into the afternoon, another stage win for Evans on six, but the heavy rain arrived for stage seven and it played into the hands of Rovan Pera. He took his first stage victory of the weekend and backed that up with another win on stage eight. The gap to the lead down to just 10.9. Uh, at the beginning was really tricky actually. Uh, a lot of standing water, I think there was a big uh, shower just before us, so a lot of water to clean, but uh, uh, the middle and end part was actually quite enjoyable. A difficult day for Hyundai, Thierry Neuville off the pace and unable to mount a challenge in fifth behind Esapeka Lappi. In third, Oit Tanak, who lost nearly 20 seconds when the ducting for the windscreen demister dropped off in the final stage of the day. He is now 44 seconds off the lead. The pipe came off, the heater pipe and uh, yeah, we had no visibility. After a near perfect day for Elvin Evans, it would all go wrong on the final stage. The rain continuing to fall, he went off the road and lost over 20 seconds, dropping to second overall. Which means, Kale Rovampera, your rally leader by 11.7 seconds at the end of the first full day. Yeah, the afternoon was good. I was, uh, I was happy that we could use our starting place now a bit better. Start to push a bit more when we had the grip and... Uh, and yeah, this is going to be interesting to see what happens to the guys behind it. But some parts no rain, some parts full rain for us also. So let's see what happens. Another nine stages to run tomorrow. The pace is rampant here in Estonia. You can't second guess this rally. Who would you like to see on the top step? Tomorrow we go again.